So now we've done all the Devon Corporation stuff, we can finally move on to the next city. Before you do that, and before I mention that, I also caught an Encarta off screen. It's going to be my HM slave for the time being. You can learn Cut and Flash, maybe Rock Smash, I can't remember. But I recommend you catch it, it's a good HM slave. Um, but yeah, before you can go to Doofood, actually you can go there right now. But what I'm going to do before doing that is talk to Mei. And you're going to register her in your Pokenav. And you can also battle her, which is an exclusive to Emerald. You can't do it in Ruby and Sapphire. So, that's what I want to do, but not yet. I just need to go to the Pokemart just for a second to pick some items up, so I'll be back. Alright, so now I have all the items, I can um, take on May. And the reason I had to go to the Mart is because I had to get some X items. And the reason for that is that she has a Torkoal. And for this early in the game, Torkoal is really, really good. I mean, they really made it hard for you. Uh, Torkoal has, like, great defense. And if you started with the Torchic or a Trico, actually she won't have one if you have a Trico. If you started with the Torchic, this could be a really hard battle. So I'm just going to use an X special. And it's going to use Curse, and that's what makes this battle so much harder. But I'm actually going to skip this Torkoal, just because it's going to take me a long time. Alright, so there we go. That battle literally took me like 7 minutes. So... I don't like to skip rival battles, but I had to do it, just because I needed... I want to show a lot in this video, and I don't want to have this video of just me taking on a Torkoal. So now that Torkoal's down, I can take on uh, Mudkip. And as you can see, Ninkata and uh, Cyclone are both down. That took me a while. I had to do a lot of strate strategic stuff. But here's a Mudkip, and this is going to be pretty easy to take down. And Lombre doesn't have a water attack yet, so that's what really annoyed me. I thought it would actually learn water gun at level 15 or something, but obviously it doesn't. And yeah, it was really annoying. I was hoping it was going to have a water attack, but it didn't, so that talker was really, really hard. Anyway, this bolt seat should take it out, hopefully. Yep. So, that's May. Um, not that hard, but pretty hard for me. Um... If you start with a Mudkip, I think she still has a Torkoal, I believe. Um, yeah, so that still won't be hard. It's really only if you started with Torchic that it's going to be hard. If you started with uh, Trico, she's going to have a Torchic, and I don't know the other Pokemon. I'll put it in the description of what she has, so just check that out. Now I'm just going to heal up, and I'll skip to uh, some section. Alright, so we're here now. And you can pick up this item now we have cut. You don't have to, because it's not really that good. But I'm going to pick it up anyway, just because I want to show you. And we have an X accuracy. So, it's an okay item, nothing great. Now we're just going to skip to the Petalburg Woods. So now with the Petalburg Woods, you can use cut here. And get uh, a few items, I believe. One of them can be very important, if you want it. And the other, I think there's another one that isn't really that important. But this person here, talk to her and you'll get a good item. Especially if you have a grass type. And that will be a miracle seed which boosts the power of grass type attack. So if you have a grass type like a trick or something, I recommend you get it. And I believe there's an item up here. Wild battle. And I believe it's a great ball. Yeah, there we go. So we get a great ball. So, yeah, it's also a pretty good item if you want a great ball. I recommend you pick it up. And I don't believe there's anything else. Actually, there's one item over there. So hopefully you can get through this grass. Nice. And it is an X attack. So, yeah, noth nothing too great, but just if you want those items, just come over and get them. And, yeah, so we're finally out of the, uh, these woods. So now that we've done all the Devon Corp stuff, Mr. Brady, or Brady, whatever you pronounce it, will finally be here. And you talk to him, and yeah, he'll say stuff about his Pigo that you saved it, he owes you so much. So he recommend that you uh, take him to Doofood. Which I don't get is that if you didn't help Mr. Brady, would he take you to this place? I mean, how's May gonna get there? Am I the only one that you can? This guy's gonna take? But I don't know. I guess I could just have to presume that he takes other people. Either the way, we're going to go into this crazy ship, and midway, the ship's just going to stop, and you're going to get a call. And it's from your dad. He's going to like, yeah, you have a Pokenav, and why did my dad get me a Pokenav? I mean, or my mum. I mean, 
couldn't that just be my present or something? I don't, I don't know. But either way, we get um, our dad's number, Norman, as his real name is. And we can explore this water when we get surf, which I will be doing. And here we are, we're at Doofed Town. And this place always reminded me of uh, Pokemon Silver slash Soul Silver and Heart Gold and Gold, of that place near the Whirlpool Islands. Uh, yeah, so I haven't really shown off a Pokemon Center ever. There's a Pokemon Center. But yeah, this place really reminds me of, um, I can't remember the city, but it, where you get the Shuckle in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, this place always reminded me of that place. So, yeah, I just going to point that out. So here's the gym. Uh, you can go there right now, or there's an, a cave that you can go to. I'm going to take on the gym first, and then go to the cave. So I'm going to do that right now. So here we are. This is the Doofed Gym. Um, it's it's a weird gym. It's like it's basically like the f you're in a dark cave, and there's a maze that you have to go through. It's nothing that hard. I mean, it's pretty easy to get through, so you shouldn't have any trouble with it. But yeah, as you can see there, there's a dead end. So you just got to find your way through the maze. And all I'm going to be doing in this one is just taking on all the trainers, and next episode I'll take on the gym later. So, yeah. And we got a double battle here. So here we have two people. A sailor and a flying chick. <laughs> so here we have a Machop. And we have a, well, Meditai, I nearly said ta and we have a Taco Bell, but it's on my team. So, um, we'll just use Ember, and let's just say Bullet Seed. And Bullet Seed isn't going to do a lot, so it's pretty annoying, but maybe we can get five. Hope for five? Only three. You haven't got five yet, Taco Bell. Disappointing. And Ember, low kick isn't going to do too much. Um, low kick does more damage the, I think, heavier the Pokemon is. So, it's a okay move, I guess. And that's going to be storing energy, so that's obviously going for a bide. Hopefully I can get more than two this time, just so I can take it out. Alright, one, hopefully... Alright, good work, Taco Bell. So we take down the Meditite. You can't catch Meditite in Emerald, I should also mention. Um, I don't know why. I think you can only catch it in Ruby, or maybe Sapphire, or maybe both of them. I can't remember. Either way, level 14. So yeah, Torchic's moving up. It's gonna go for a low kick. That does a bit more than I expected. And then, we use an Ember and Bullet Seed, so either way this Pokemon's going down. So, we take that much up down, and I believe that's the end of it, unless they have another Pokemon. And no, so yeah, we take down Lilith and Brendan. So every time you beat a trainer, the, the darkness gets a little bit lighter, I should say, or gets lighter. So, yeah, now we can take on this fighting man. Oh, I should say karate guy. He's foot up in the air, he's getting ready to kick some butt. And then we have a Machop. That's really all you're going to say here. There's really not going to be anything that exciting. And now we'll go for Cyclone, just because Cyclone is going to be my Pokemon for this gym. Um, it's got Peck, so yeah. And I believe it learns Wing Attack at level 13 or 14. So hopefully uh, I can get there. Because Peck isn't really that good at the moment. I mean, it's taken me three attacks to take down this much up, and that's not good. I'm going to need a lot more power to take down the gym leader. So, yeah, just going to go for another Peck. And there we go. Level 13. Are we going to learn Wing Attack now? Or was that 14? And yeah, so we learn Wing Attack at level 13. So that's going to be nice. It's going to be a big boost to power from Peck. 
And I'll just get rid of Beck because there's no need of having two flying type attacks at the moment. So yeah, we've got Peck and learned wing attack. Very nice. And we take down Kakao. Is that how you? I'm gonna say that's how you pronounce his name, Kakao, but or Takao. Either way, it doesn't really bother me that much. What well, sort of does? Because I like to pronounce people's names right. It's just me. I like to always pronounce people's names right, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. And here we have another. A uh, karate man. So if I want to pass, it has to be through him. And obviously I want to pass, so obviously I'm going to have to take you down. And that guy's name is Christian. Christian or Christian? I would say Christian, but there's no H, so I'm going to say Christian. Okay, I never heard that name before. It's a pretty cool name, I guess. Uh, Makahita. I'm, also, I'm very surprised that I've actually used Makahita. Um, I gave this guy Makahita, because it's actually the gym leader's ace Pokemon. And I don't know why they gave him, like, the gym leader's ace Pokemon. I mean, that just seems weird, as like, the gym leader, and you're like, oh, that Pokemon's sweet, but, no. But either way, I guess it doesn't matter. So, my Cyclone just went down, so that's not good. So I'm going to send in Fury, and hopefully, uh, he can take him down. No, so this battle could take a while. Maybe. Well, not that long. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep Ember away. I'm just gonna use Vital Throw. Vital Throw always goes last, and it never misses. So, yeah. Always goes last, never misses. I don't know what the power is. All I know is it never misses. That's all I know. And, yeah, so... I'm just gonna use Sand Attack. So, hopefully I don't miss, and hopefully I can take it down with this Ember. Yep, so we take down the Makahita. And level 15, hopefully. Yep. So, Makahita's gonna give a good chunk of experience, which is pretty nice. Yes, you were vastly overpowered. And I got 416 Pokedollars, so the money's getting a lot, of a lot higher. Now you're um, getting into the game more. And I'm gonna go heal up my Cyclone, just because I need him a lot stronger for this gym. So I just gotta go through this maze and get out of here, so I'll be back. So now we're back, I'll take on the final, I believe there's one more trainer left in this place, before I converse on the gym. So, let's go find that trainer. Um, this way is where the gym is, and or the gym leader I should say, and this is where the last trainer is. And his name is Brawly. And I believe this chick is actually the chick of the anime. I believe. She should have a metatite. Just one. Oh uh, yeah, so this chick is actually off the um off the the show, I guess. They have a, a few people of like of, like of that sort. Like they're off the anime and they put them in the show. That doesn't make any sense. They're off the anime or the show and they put them in the game. Or vice versa. But yeah, so this chick was in the... Well, this character that they have here was in the show, so... That was probably very confusing of what I just said, because I confused myself. But either way, um... We take down all the trainers. That's about all we have time for in this episode, so... Actually, no, I'll just take down this trainer. There's one more trainer than I missed, so I'll take it down. And it's funny, because I just mentioned that anime thing, and yet this character is exactly the same Pokemon. And looks exactly the same. So I could be dead wrong. I could be fully dead wrong about the whole thing I just said. So basically, just ignore what I just said. But I know there is some people in the games that are from the show that they put in there with the same Pokemon and stuff. But they're still the same person, so really I have no idea. So just ignore everything I said about the whole anime thing, of that chick being in it. So, anyway, with that confusing thing out of the way, we take down the last trainer, and that's going to be the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Next time, we take on Brawly.